government building here in Wellington is the largest wooden office building in the world. She's a grand old lady and she's just had a makeover and I think she's looking pretty amazing. So let's find out more about how that was done. How are you going Richard? Good thanks. What a big task. How on earth did you go about it? Well, it was a mammoth, mammoth task really. It took five months, some 3,000 litres of paint and we actually covered from the fence outside right up to the coat of arms you see on the top there. Including six and a half kilometres of bird proof netting around the outside to stop the birds from pooing on the paint. Those chimneys look amazing but are they real? No they're not. They were replaced in 1996 when the building was restored to give it a look of when the building was original. They're actually made of fibrous cement and polystyrene. Richard, this is a pretty amazing looking staircase. What's the story behind it? Well, when William Clayton, the architect of this building, designed these staircases, they were designed as a hanging staircase. Unfortunately, when he first built them, they started to sag almost straight away, and that was because of the weight of the timbers and the girders that were in behind them. And what we've been able to do in the restoration that occurred 10 years ago is replicate exactly how he intended them to look. So today, um, instead of them being all caged off and supported by columns and things, they are now as the architect once wanted. This is one of the eight stone secure units in the building that were designed so that the correspondence that all government officials wrote on, on the day were stored in a safe, secure, fireproof environment. Wow. So there are four of these on each side of the building and strangely enough, because of the sheer size of the brick and, and concrete surroundings that this vault has, it's given the building its own earthquake strengthening properties. One of the potential problems we have is the fact that it's at high risk of fire and that has been a part of its history since day one. In fact this building had the very first smoke free policy in the world. In 1876 when the first workers came in they weren't allowed to smoke inside. Pre-1996 when the building was fully restored these panels were coated in six or seven layers of paint and they were tediously scraped back to the bare finish that you see today. That uncovered a lot of little secrets in that around the building and we have these little stencils. They restored two and then they've been replicated around the room as they once would have been. Well, if these walls could talk, I'm sure they'd have some amazing stories to tell us. And uh, I think if you're interested in getting out there and meeting your locals, then perhaps learning about our history is a good place to start. So good, so good, so good. So good.